29. So, <laughs> so I want to give you a little bit, a little idea of, from the New York Times. So Bob Duro was a singer, a pianist, a composer who was well known for his jazz, but even better known for schoolhouse rock, an infectious series of song-filled cartoons that conveyed math and grammar principles to young viewers. Mr. Duro was a moderately successful jazz pianist and singer when an advertising man named David D. McCall approached him for help with an idea. Mr. McCall had wondered why his son was able to memorize lyrics to rock songs but couldn't learn multiplication tables. Would catchy math-related tunes be the answer? The original concept was to make a record and workbook, but when Mr. Duro started producing dippy songs like Three is a Magic Number and My Hero Zero, the vision expanded into a series of animated shorts which ABC began inserting into its Saturday morning lineup in 1973, when I was two years old. The series continued into the mid-1980s with several revivals and subsequent decades. Not to unduly shame the American education system, People Magazine began an article in 2016, but chances are Bob Duro has had more of an impact on grammar fluency than any other individual in the 20th century. <laughs> Mr. Duro, rhymes with thorough, was music director for the initial series and wrote and sang some of the most fondly remembered schoolhouse rock songs. Uh, Mr. Uh, Duro was born yeah, on December 12, 1923 in Cherry Hill, Arkansas. His father was a salesman. His mother worked for a time for the Singer Sewing Machine Company. Music was always an interest uh, for him. He moved to Texas, and that's when he fell in love with music, playing in an ensemble there. He served in the military for a while, and he lived in New York for a time. And that's about it. <laughs> that's, 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 that's,